I'm commenting on this video because huh. I got a movie going on in the bootleg theater. Tried to comb my hair for T-Mot's video. Can't be too scruffy in the T-Mot video. So, um, I wear my real 3D glasses so I can be all cool with it. So, um, I'm making a comment on this video because I truly believe the person really did get their comeuppance. Because you have to understand, in this day and age, T-Mot, you know what, that person could have been anybody. And somebody have the gall to think they can just walk up in their house and take whatever they want. That's the shameful part about America. Is people think they can just walk in and take whatever they want from you and it be no consequences. And in some cases, like around here, the 80 year old probably be in jail. Well, you could have winged him. But you know, you don't mess with old people anyway. What's the whole purpose of taking some? I learned a long time ago, if you steal something to feed your family and survival, if you steal something for a comeuppance, you get the comeuppance. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen when you're doing wrong with no positive meaning. In other words, if I have to hurt somebody, it's to survive or, or to save my family or some shit like that. If I, if I had to steal or something, it's going to be some food or something. If I have to do something bad, it's going to be to feed my family and the survival of my family. People do stuff just to do it. Oh, I'm going to take this from this old person because he's weaker than I am and I can scare him and just take it. The day and age is gone where you just take something from people. People have been taught to defend themselves throughout. It's like it, people get tired of just giving up and giving in to those who don't give a damn about nothing other than right now, this moment, this second. That junkie it needs to hit, or, or, or the fool that just wants to break in your house and, and, and steal something off the side of the TV for a thrill. It's just, there's, there's no reasoning anymore. It's like, there, there's always some reasoning, reasoning in negativity. Something negative will always have a, 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 a a uh, 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 positive, uh, you know, lining or something like. There's always something good and something bad. But when people do nothing for nothing, there is no good of it. You know, like like I said, my grandpa said, "Boy, if you ever steal something, it better be for the survival of your family." That's it. If you're hungry and you can't feed your family, get some food. By any means, and feed your family. Not going there to take the TV and then try to sell the TV. It was like, if you got to do it, do it for survival. Don't, these people now, they do it for, I got to get high. It's not an excuse. Robbing an old person or robbing anybody or, or stealing and whatever. If it ain't for survival, it's no excuse. You don't see the lions out there just hunting and say, oh, well, I caught that one. Like humans. Humans do dumb things for the wrong reason. So, this person got their comeuppance because they were stupid. Not, you know, sick. And a lot of people, a lot of people in this world are sick. They have extreme sicknesses. Some sicknesses, they were branded to them. Somebody beat it into him. They gotta survive. Or the old person, nigga, ain't shit. It's not. Not every person is bad. Things turn people bad. People go bad because of the situation. And I love you to death. Right is right, and wrong is wrong. But you cannot ever call a man a bum until you walked in his skin. That's one thing about people that I never liked. I can judge you for this, judge you for that, and judge you for this without knowing you. Without knowing why you're the person you are, the way you are, the way you are, I can't call you any names or make any assumptions about who you are. 
or what puts you in a situation to do something dire and or stupid. So in saying that, when you flip the script and when you connect all the dots, that person got their comeuppance most likely because they completely forgot what world they live on. And when you don't give a damn about nothing but your habit or your need or your want, you will do anything to get your point across or to get what you need to survive. Regardless if you're thinking about it's the right way or the wrong way. That's what you call judgment. When you look through somebody's soul and you know what they are. And you know why they're the way they are. For whatever reason it may be. And that's where the judgment is made. He was a bum in deeds. He was a fool in life. And is ignorant to the laws in which men live by. If you take my stuff, you might get got. If you walk through the door wrong, you will get shot. If it's mine, it's mine. You can't take it. So you got your comeuppance, however you make it. Oh, T-Mot, love that video. And you've been too.